Oh, ladies and gentlemen, if you're not standing, then I don't know why you're fucking here. As always, we have a special guest for the next two weeks. I'm excited for this. This man has big plans going into the new year. But before we get into any of that, with me once again is your king, Dylan. How are you today, sir? <laughs> I'm doing good, man. It's good to be back. Listen, and I never I'm forget the intro. I never forget the intro. You got to stand up and you got to praise the King <laughs> Dylan. Exactly. We are back here in ECW, revamped and redone. Yes. So tell the people uh, the good news that you have and what your future holds. So in the new year, I will be actually going into wrestling training yep in real life yep. uh, I found I recently found a training school here where I live at mm -hmm. not going to disclose that can't have can't have anybody knocking on my door listen the fans <laughs> want to see the king we can't have that we can't have the fans going to your doors seeing the king no 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 they have to wait until I get on the big stage exactly exactly then they can try and jump the barricade all they want. Like Seth freaking <laughs> Rollins. Exactly. Oh. Well, damn, man. So, last we saw you was last season in Velocity. Uh, you had amazing uh, ideas. Those are the days. Yeah, you had these great ideas, but life got in the way. It is what it is. Um, you, yeah. You've grown so much, man. You're taking uh, this life right by the balls, and you're going straight forward with it. And um, so, uh, if you were to pick any in in the place to go to when you get the choice, then where would you go? If I had to choose where I would start at, yes, like after training. <sighs> Honestly, I'd, I'd want to start out on the indies. Okay, okay. Make, get my name out there a lot more. You know? Mm hmm make, make, sure bef make sure I make my name as big as I can. Yep. And have WWE come, come crawling to me. Yes, sir. Or have AEW come crawling to me. Yes, sir. Or New Japan come crawling to me. Yes, sir. Damn. <laughs> but... That is all great news. That is amazing. So we will have you for the next two weeks. But we have all the time in the world. So, sir, what do you think of this match? Ali taking on Pete Dunne here tonight. Mustafa Ali versus Pete Dunne. This honestly has the makings of a fantastic match. Pete Dunne's brutal style of just snapping your limbs... Uh, at any point versus Mustafa Ali's high flying ability is a hell of a thing to deal with. Yes. And um actually when Pete Dunn's repeatedly power bombing you on the outside. <laughs> Jesus. Yes, and uh w w with bringing back the e the ECW brand, it's knockout, pinfall, submissions, falls count anywhere. So it's grab a weapon, go wherever you need to. So uh, with that being said, knockout, pinfall, submission, um, what would be your mindset against the likes of Pete Dunne? Uh, avoid, avoid him grabbing your fingers at all costs. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> what? There you go. He will absolutely snap your fingers in half and you will be done. Yes. <laughs> oh, two count. That's fine. That's, that's uh, fine. I'll leave. It's fine. But you also gotta... Remember, Pete Dunn, even with his small stature, he is very strong. Yes. For someone in his size. Yes. Well, looks like he's going for that bat. Grip! Very Shit. smart move. Damn. Go for the weapon, knock down the small guy as much as possible. Oh, god damn. Oh. Oh. He's using that bat to his full advantage. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I would be very proud. <laughs> God damn, Mustafa is going right back at him with it. Mustafa is so okay. So I forgot to mention. So if you guys, um, so if you guys watched 
Um, hold on, let me get to it. You guys know I'm a fucking notes guy. Hold on. Oh boy, this guy in his notes. Oh, the notes. Um, <laughs> yeah, so if you guys... Ooh, where is it? This man has so many notes that he loses. Yes, yes, okay. So if you guys watched this past Monday, so the Monday we came back, if you guys watched this past Monday, we crowned our ECW champions. And it is Ali, who is wrestling right now, is the TV champion. And Matt Riddle is the world champion. What do you think of those champions, my good sir? I'd say, I'd say with Mustafa Ali uh, in the TV division, that's a very wise move, honestly. I mean, hey, it's what I do. It's what I do, mm -hmm. sir very wise move with him. He is somebody that can absolutely lead a mid-card division and eventually even make himself into a world title contender. Yes. Matt Riddle, yep. giving his recent stories that's been spreading may not be the best idea, but I do get it. Put him out there in the spotlight, everybody everybody knows what's going on, bring in some people to think, hey, how the fuck is this guy wrestling after what he did? Yeah. Oh, Pete Dunn, beautiful. Pete Dunn's looking like a threat to the TV division. Oh, yeah. Shit! Uh, oh. Oh. oh! I think that's it right there. No! Uh, no. Okay. Wow. Wow. And I see... I see you guys hired the classic referees instead of the uh, regular ones. The red shoes. We hired the red shoes. The red shoes, the uh, all-white shirt with the black bow tie and everything. Yep. I see you. Brother, it's what we do. It's what we do. <laughs> Ali! DDT A on the outside. Beautiful DDT on the outside. Damn. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, pitching them back in. Okay, Pete. Okay, Pete. Okay, Pete. But you need to stay on top of the champion. Prove yes, you. He does. Prove you're a threat, man. Oh, and there's the fingers. Just what? Uh -oh, uh -oh. oh. Oh, there goes the fingers. Just as Dylan was talking about, gotta watch. See, and I've always had a scar with me. Well, a mental scar when I was younger, and it was always in the snow when my fingerless gloves. My hands would get so cold that my brother would step on my hand and crush my fingers. Oh, Jesus. Oh, speaking of the fingers. There it is. Oh, you go for the back of the arm this time. There you go. Oh, Ali. God damn. Mustafa Ali is showing why he's a TV champion right now. Yes, sir. Oh, no. Don't. No. Ali was on top uh -oh. of it. Uh-oh. There you go. Ooh. There you go. Pitch him. There you go. Pitch him back in. Pitch him back. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. God. Oh. Shit. Oh. God damn it. Oh, I'll oh. leave my dad. Oh, oh, oh. oh, my God. He's using a finisher against him. Knocked him out. And with that knockout. Jesus. Now that. That's just disrespectful. <laughs> Knocking your opponent out with his own finisher. His, That's disrespectful. His first night as champion showing <laughs> that he runs the show, the, the whole effing show, man. Damn. That's a, that was a hell of a uh, first match right there. And up but now we got Damian Priest versus John Morrison in Extreme Rules. Now let me ask you. Now let me ask you. Did you... Okay, so part one of the question. Did you watch Priest in NXT when he first started? Yes, I did. Okay, so part two of the I question. I loved Priest in NXT. Okay, so are they are they dropping the ball with him right now, or do you think he's doing better than he did in NXT? What? Uh, with his Judgment Day thing in WWE? Yes. I honestly think it was a great idea at first... But, but I love Dominic. I really do. I cannot <laughs> take him seriously screaming mommy, mommy every fucking week. 
Yeah, I he's feel like supposed to be a bad guy. I feel like they thing. tried doing a Eddie China, China thing, and they didn't know how to continue it. So um, yeah. Eddie, Eddie never cried, mommy. No, mommy, exactly. In China. That's why I think. <laughs> well, because it was supposed to be Poppy. She was. The pop poppy for him, and then he did a yeah. backstage thing, and he fucked up, and then they just ran with it. And I think but his we fuck. We all really know in that situation, Rhea Ripley is poppy. Yeah, she is poppy. <laughs> so I mean, I feel like uh, Dominic's still a baby. I feel like they could have been. She could have been the new the man with being pop poppy. But Dom fucked up, and he said the wrong one, and they just ran with it. <laughs> yeah. All right, Priest, what are you grabbing? Oh, Kendo, beautiful. beautiful. Break it! Kendo stick. Break it! Busting Morrison open. Too bad I don't have a Kendo stick under the announce table this time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Whoop! So this man is officially closing his gym doors... To pursue outside ring real life. I'm excited to uh, see what you're going to do, man. I really am. And I hope... Yes, sir. And I hope wherever you go that they fucking stand up. Because if they don't, then why are they fucking there? I told you, I never forget the intros, man. I never forget the intros. Yes, I, I know you don't. I know you don't forget. <laughs> I never forget. I've done this with so many face fa faces... From, uh, from, uh, Jam Talk Jam to Josh to you to my buddy Retro yeah. to uh, my three friends that did, like, a month thing with me. I had different intros for all of them, but, yeah. you know, the king is, the king will always be the king. Yes, sir. No one will come for that crown. No, sir. No, sir. <laughs> Especially now that I'm hopping in the ring myself, I will be defending that crown myself. Yes, yeah, sir. And speaking of defending, it looks like John Morrison is going to defend the fact that he can go airborne. Moon's Hulk. Spanish Fly. Yes! Boom! There Beautiful it is. Beautiful Spanish Fly by John Morrison. But can he get it, though? Cover. Cover. No, never. He's not going to cover yet. Not yet. Not done yet. Boom! There you go. Cover. There you go. There you go. Get I at least. I think it's over. I think Damian Priest still got still up. Yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Damian Priest ain't gonna be put away that easily. Hell no. There we go. Starship Pain. Send it. No wait. You're not going to. Oh shit! Nice. Beautiful front flip elbow drop. That was beautiful. Oh come on. I think Priest was on his last bit of gas. I think that kick out might have been. He's just getting started. Well, don't this... worry. Don't worry. Priest is just getting started. He ain't gonna stay down for long. This bat might. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I told you. <laughs> oh, what's he getting now? Ooh, a hockey stick. A hockey stick. <laughs> Welcome to ECW, bitch. Boom! <laughs> Brain Buster <laughs> on the... Half expecting a stop sign, honestly. <laughs> that is under there, too. <laughs> uh, See, it's funny. He grabbed the, ho the, the hockey stick to hit John Morrison, and John Morrison was the KC Jones in Bat in the Sun ver version. Yeah. Yeah, they got all come uh, around I'm full not, circle. I'm not going to talk about that, uh... That Ninja Turtles, though. <laughs> <laughs> it all comes around full circle. To make the great Casey Jones, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk about the uh, that uh, Ninja Turtles. They, uh, they made them ugly shit. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But it all comes around full circle, my friend. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So I didn't get to speak with you. Uh, the recent passing of the greatest Power Ranger. Uh, what did you uh, think of that whole thing? Jason David Frank. Yep. Oh man, that 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 was a heartbreaker. Yep. That honestly hurt a lot. The man was a team like, all by himself, man. Mm -hmm. 
the greatest Power Ranger to ever live. Yep. Yep. I don't care what anybody says. Jason can do any bit of any Power Ranger. I mean, anybody else can talk about being a great Power Ranger, but they can't say they're the greatest nope. Power Ranger because, let's face it, that position is meant for the one and only Jason David Frank. Yep. A.K.A. Tommy Oliver. Yep. The Green Ranger, the White Ranger, the Red Ranger. The Black Ranger. The and the Black Ranger. Yep. Uh, I will never forget the first time I ever seen Jason David Frank. I, I thought he was going to be a pushover. Mm-hmm. And it turns out, no, no, he's the furthest thing from it. Yep, and speaking <laughs> of pushover, Priest puts it away against... I told Jeff. you, Damian Priest, don't, uh, don't put him down. I know, don't man. Ever, don't ever assume he's down for good. I told you that. Well, up next, man, is our co-main event of the evening, Walter. Oh, man. Sir. Taking you brought him into Velocity last season. Yes, I did. Walter um, was my boy in Velocity. So, with that being said, uh, what he's doing in the WWE now? Are you happy with what? First off, the name change was ridiculous. So let's get that out of the way. But are you We're liking? Not even talk about that name change. <laughs> are you liking his reign as IC Champion? Yes, I absolutely love Walter's reign as Intercontinental Champion. Okay, okay. He is kicking the shit out of everybody, and and the rumors say that he's facing Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. I heard about I that. I honestly hope it's true, because I want to see Brock Lesnar's chest get lit up with the heaviest chops in the, in the game. I honestly think they need to have Brock push Walter... And have him maybe dethrone Roman at some point. See, there's only one, there's only two men who could dethrone the tribal king. Okay. Tribe, tri tribal chief. Okay. <laughs> and that is The Rock. Yeah. Or Cody Rhodes. Yeah, I knew you were going to say it. Okay. <laughs> DDP. Or. Or, or, and the, or, Seth Rollins. Because yep. he does have Roman Reigns' number. Yes, 100%. As we seen last time when he, we, when he forced him, uh, to, to, uh, into a DQ. Yeah. When he tried to choke him out, but wasn't listening to the ref's five count. No. Now, my only question is, I see you brought in Walter, did you bring in his other boys? No, because uh, there's no tag, there's no tag division in this, uh, and Walter is going solo with everything. Doesn't need a tag division. I know. Those two can handle themselves. I know, I know, I know, I know, but I don't want to chance Walter anything. Walter beautiful powerbomb to Finn Balor. Oh. oh. Come on, Finn, get up, man. I'm waiting for that powerbomb off the top rope. Hopefully it doesn't happen. I hope Finn is able to put it away. Yeah. Now, we've all, we all have speculations on the upcoming Royal Rumble, but I want to hear it from you, partner. What do you think is going to happen? So I have my prediction. Uh, people say, and I have to agree with it, that Cody's coming back to win it. Yes, we all we've all heard Cody Rhodes coming back to win it. Yes. Yep. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh here. Oh, I I called it, partner. Oh I no. It. Finn. I called it. Finn. No. Oh Ooh, Jesus. The power bomb off the top rope. No, Walter. Finn. 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 Kick out of this, Finn. One. Finn. Two. Three. Wow. I told you. God damn! One power bomb off the top rope. I told you. Finn could have kept. Oh, Finn, what are you doing, man? He couldn't handle it. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it! I, 
you should have known from Velocity how much of a beast the Walter is. Well, yeah, he, he 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 did run the uh, the Velocity divisions. He did. He, he did. Yes, yes, he did. Damn. And now he's running ECW. God damn. Well, speaking of running ECW, the face of ECW, the world champion Matt Riddle going one on one with one of the greatest original TNA stars of all time, AJ Styles. AJ fucking Styles. Now was he no was he known as the phenomenal one in TNA or was that what Vince did? Um the phenomenal one did start in TNA. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay. Or, hold on, it could have actually started in, uh, no, no, it started in TNA, never mind. Okay, perfect. Because you know how Vince is, so I didn't... I know, Vince likes to take everybody's ideas and say they're his, but we don't got to deal with that anymore <laughs> with Mr. Hunter Hearst Helmsley at the Helms. Like how he stuck Bearcat on Keith fucking Lee when he came oh, up to the God. main roster. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. That, that nickname, that name Bearcat to poor Keith Lee was so stupid. Yep, exactly. They had it perfect with him just limitless Keith Lee being him. Yeah. That's what but, they do. You know. Hopefully. Hopefully, he comes back to WWE one day, and Triple H will be in charge. Yep. And it'll just be Keith Lee. Yeah. Ooh, get now, the com get the combo going. Get the I'm com just gonna. What'd you say, partner? I'm sorry. Oh, I was telling Riddle get the combo going, but he fucked it up, and now Styles capitalizes. Now I'm gonna just point out the obvious here. Okay. ECW is once again being uh, front run by the world's biggest pothead. <laughs> yep. At first it was old Rob Van old Dam, old now it's Matt Riddle. Old school ECW was basically run by RVD. Yep. New school ECW here being run by Matt Riddle. Yep. What is up with potheads and running ECW? <laughs> <laughs> Because you got to be fuck, fucked up in some sort, sort of way to to be a fan of this. I loved uh, EC... I never watched the original shit. I caught the ass end of uh, the original shit. And then when they brought it back, I will say this until the day I fucking die. The greatest WWE match of the Ruthless Aggression Era was John Cena versus Rob Van Dam at ECW One Night Stand. Oh, John Cena versus Rob Van Dam was yep. fucking gorgeous. Yes, that was my all to If people ask me what my favorite match of all time was that got me, like, loving it again, right there. Right there. Yeah. See, I will say the crowd got me to love it even more. Yes, yes. When, when they were just screaming, fuck you, Cena... And had the signs, if Cena wins, we riot. Yep. And you know the original story was probably for John Cena to win. But then they seen how rowdy the crowd was right there in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And, and they were afraid. Yeah. They were afraid of my hometown. Which, to be fair... Everybody should be afraid of Philadelphia when it comes to sports. Oh, yeah, exactly. We got the best football team right now. We got the best wrestling fans. And honestly, I'm even going to say it, we got the best baseball team and one of the best basketball teams, too. I can agree with you on the basketball team. The 76 Sixers will always be my favorite, but I'm a Packers guy, so... Oh, okay. So you're so you're just an angry Packers fan that's <laughs> dealing with Aaron, Aaron Rodgers right now. Gotcha. True. <laughs> I won't fight so you on it. How does it feel to not be able to pay for anybody because Aaron Rodgers wanted such a giant contract? <laughs> Life was better with Brett Favre. Life was better. 
yes, life was a little bit better with Brett Favre. I'm like, <laughs> oh. although I will, although I will say, Aaron Rodgers right now is kind of acting like Brett Favre, not wanting to help out Jordan Love at all, and basically wanting to run the team his way. Yep. And ladies and gentlemen. AJ Styles takes out the world champion. Yeah, you know what that means. <laughs> the, hey. That means Mr. AJ Styles wants the world championship. And with, he just beat the world champion. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, Dylan is with us next week. And we will see yes, you sir. there. Peace.